right now you're free you're free to work for any employer you wish theoretically not theoretically anyway you can work or not work that is to say you can you can eat or starve that's to say you're free to do that the slave wasn't free to do that neither was the serf you're free in inverted commas to work for any boss that you want if you can find a boss that will take you on for a suitable uh, wage and so on in other words the first condition of capitalism is the existence of a free working class mm. how was this achieved it was achieved by the most brutal means imaginable it was achieved for example in Scotland by, 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 by emptying the highlands you know the, the highlands now of Scotland they're empty if you go there, it's very nice for tourists but there was a time when the, the, that, that area was populated by, by people you see that now in the Scot dotted around the highlands you'll find empty villages who were brutally evicted with, with great brutality evicted on lands which they considered to be their own lands forced to emigrate to America in many cases or Canada turned out and then the lands were turned over for sheep farming or even just hunting just hunting for the idle rich aristocrats the common lands people were evicted from the lands which had all, always had in, in other words you had the creation of, of a so called free working class now the real development of capitalism however begins because this process began already in the late middle ages rural capitalism begins in the late middle, late middle ages there were other factors like the, the, the black death played a big role the black death in which uh, in, in the 14th century was killed half of the population of Europe and half the population of Britain this meant that, that, that there were so few people left that the landowners couldn't control them. They couldn't control wages. The workers began to go on strike and demand higher wages, you know. The first example of uh, wage restraint policy, Harry, was in the 14th century. Did you know that? It was called the, the Statute of Laborers, where they tried to fix wages and prices and so on in a period of rising class struggle. But the real development of of capitalism was in England, was in this country, at the end of the 18th century and the beginning of the 19th century, in something which we know now as the Industrial Revolution. That is to say, with this big mass of, of, of free labour, of workers that were available, starving people, by the way, who flocked to the towns to seek employment, you had the development of industry, starting with small industry, manu manufacturing, and so on eventually large-scale industry in the course of the 19th century. Under capital, capitalism, as the word in implies, is based upon capital. That is to say, you have a small class of capitalists who own the means of production. They own the land. Most of the old aristocrats were displaced or, mar or fused with, with the capitalist class, or the bourgeoisie, as we call it. Some of them are bankers, you could finance capital, like in the city of London, this is all big banks and financial institutions. But the basis of capitalism was the industrial capitalists, big factories in which workers are employed and, and exploited for the extraction of surplus labour, which Marx explains in, in, in his famous book, uh, Das Kapital. Now, for the first time with capitalism you get the creation of the working class there was no working class before really there was the, perhaps the embryo of a working class in the middle ages with the artisans and craftsmen and so on but the real working class is born under capitalism now the importance of capitalism is this capitalism by the way is a very brutal system you might say that slavery seems to be very brutal to us and Feudalism also seems very brutal to us, but the most brutal system of all is capitalism. Marx in Capital says this, he says that capital uh, came on the face of the earth, was born dripping blood from every pore. Slavery played a, a role in capital. Capitalism is not based on slavery, but they used slaves, black slaves, people, poor people taken from Africa, sent to uh, the Caribbean and sent to... Uh, the southern states of America to produce cotton and sugar and so on, that played a big role. Cities like Liverpool uh, were founded on, on slavery and so on. But capitalism is not based on slavery, it's based on wage slavery. On the, uh, you're supposed to be free under, uh, under capitalism. 
The importance of us to, to us of this is, is as follows. First of all, we welcome the development of capitalism by the way. We, say, we, we would say capitalism played a very revolutionary role. Why do I say this? Well, if you go back to our clock, human history, class societies only existed for about the last three minutes. Uh, capitalism has only existed for the last 200 years. That's a, it's a very young system, man. Far from being the, the, a permanent, eternal system, determined by human nature and so on, as most people believe on the contrary. Capitalism, this is a very new system, very, very recent system, very young system, with very shallow roots in society. It's only existed for at most 200 years, no longer. And uh, what is extraordinary, therefore on our clock, it's probably the last, what, uh, 20 seconds of <laughs> a 24-hour clock, that's all capitalism is. It's a but what is incredible is in that last 20 seconds of our 24-hour clock, what a tremendous development is taking place. It's staggering. You yeah. think back 200 years to how people lived 200 years ago, there was no electricity, there was no uh, the buses, there was no cars, there were no planes. Some some of our green friends probably think that's a good thing, but uh, I don't dis I don't agree with that. Uh, people lived in, uh, in 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 a state of uh, of semi barbarism two hundred years ago. What a transformation! The whole world has been transformed. There's been a staggering development of agriculture, of industry, of technology. Now we have computers, the internet, space travel, we've put a man on the moon. It's and what capitalism shows us is the enormous potential that exists in our hands. It's just extraordinary. The first decade of the 21st century, you can say, by the way, for the, for the first time in history, you can actually say, look, all the fundamental problems that we face can be solved now, today. This is not utopia, this is not something that we... All the means of solving the basic problems are, are, are there. For example, for the first time in history it is possible to say, for the first time in a hundred thousand years it's possible to say, there is no need for anyone to starve in this world. No need at all. There's plenty of possibility to produce food, for everybody. As a matter of fact, if you check the records for the last 30 or 40 years, if not more, in Europe and in the United States, they've been destroying food in huge quantities. Did you know that? They destroy food. Vast quantities of food in order to keep the, the, the prices artificially high for the capitalist the farmers. And yet, despite the fact that there's no need for anyone to starve today, you see, uh, at this moment when I'm speaking, food riots are taking place all over the world, particularly all over the, the equator. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, there were uh, there was a riot in Haiti, which is one of the poorest countries in the world, in which the the, the masses stormed the presidential palace, and the, 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 they were chanting a very simple slogan: "We are hungry. We are hungry. No food." Same in Bangladesh, same in India, same in the Philippines, same in any number of countries. In El Salvador, in Afghanistan, I saw a figure recently, because they, they've got the blessings of uh, a Western army on their soil. The uh, average Afghan now spends half his income on food, whereas it, uh, three years ago it was only 10%. Now they spend half of their wages goes on food, just to survive, just to eat. Now what this indicates is that the capitalist system, the same as slavery, the same as feudalism in the past, was born, developed, and it developed with colossal, uh, and furthermore it developed with such astonishing speed. I mean it took hundreds of years to develop the, the Rome, ancient Rome. 